What's going on, world? How you doing? Welcome to a planet called Memphis, Shelby County. All right, Memphis, Tennessee. Welcome into our universe. So I want to tell you uh, right now we're going to have a very interesting, in-depth education about not only Southern music, but Memphis this is my guy, Scarface Al Capone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, everybody, yeah, yeah. clap for me. I know they're they clapping out there. No, I'm just being funny. Scarface Al Capone, <clears throat> Memphis legend, uh, has been doing this, or what I would say, you have invested a lot of time in this yes, sir. since a child. Yep. Um, like I said, I first saw you for the first time. We were just were talking. Yeah, tell me about, about that Bellevue first time. Bellevue Junior High. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Bellevue. You were the Shout seventh. Shout out to the Bobcats, the, man. Bellevue Bobcats. Yes, sir. He was in the seventh. I was in the eighth. We talking way old school, mid 80s. But let's get into this with you. Uh, first of all, how you doing? I'm doing super good, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm with Superman. Hey, you looking good. Yeah. Hey, the city loves you. The world loves the you. The Marvin Gaye DJ. That's that. That's what they call me, y'all. That's yeah. what they call me. But it's about you right now, okay, man. Okay, say less. We're going to talk, I'm, you know, whenever you ask me, but it's about you and your major contribution to Memphis rap. And I don't want to just say Memphis rap. Southern rap, the genre, the cluster, just the whole thing with Memphis, the world with Southern rap and hip hop. Okay. Because you are all combined into that. You're not just a Memphis rapper. You are a, what you say, universal name. Well, I'll take that. You are. I'll take that. People know that. You have whooped the trick. <laughs> you have done lyrical drive-bys. <laughs> you are, what you say, a Memphis legend. So well, thank you, man. let's get this thing going. How are we going to tell, how would you share to our viewers Memphis rap in its early days transitioning into the 21st century? Okay, that's, 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 a, good, that's a good question. Um, uh, before it was a Memphis rap scene, it was a small culture of us, you know what I'm saying, Very. in each neighborhood. Yes. And it would be these talent shows mm -hmm. that would happen, or it'd be neighborhood talent shows that would happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we'll basically kind of you know battle each other that way. Uh, I remember Jazzy Faye uh, and his brother, they went by the name of Coast to Coast, and they used to win all the little the uh, citywide uh, rap <laughs> For battles. For real? Because Jazzy, okay. <clears throat> Jazzy Faye did this move um, that would win the battle every time. He will stand on his head and beatbox. And they used to, it was unheard of. So that it was like this move that he did, and it, and his brother was rapping, you know what I'm saying? He was sick, sick with his rapping. So, uh, and when Jazz Faye did that, man, it used, I remember that. Um, and at mm. some point. Some, stand on his head. And, and beatbox. Box. Yeah. We love the Jazzy Faye. <laughs> okay. So, so um, um, from there, the M team had this song called, I remember this M team. Now I remember. It's called them. Samurai Suzuki. The M team yes. is Boo Mitchell and Archie Mitchell. Yes. The, you know what I'm saying? I remember them. Willie Mitchell's son. Ooh, blast from the past. Willie Mitchell is the guy that produced all the Al Green yeah, records. Yeah, yeah. Willie Mitchell, he owned Ro Peace, Royal Studios. Yes. Still in existence yes, sir. in South Memphis off Lauderdale. Yes, sir. And they have produced many hits. Uh, as of recent, you all know Bruno Mars. He recorded Uptown Funk, mm -hmm. uh, down there and some more music, and also uh, Silk Sonic, Anderson Pack, mm -hmm. Bruno Mars. The horn section. Yes, was done right there. Was done right there mm -hmm. in that studio. So that's still pumping Alive out. Alive and well. Really good music. Alive and well. Royal so, Studios, love y'all. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So they were like the some of the first people I heard on the radio. And I was like, man, somebody in the Memphis getting played on the radio? You know, it just caught your ear. And, um, I remember this particular talent show that was happening on, it was on cable. It was a cable vision rap talent show. <laughs> I and, don't remember that. And, what was it? And this guy named, uh, we all tried to get into it, but the guy that won went by the name of W. Def. He won it, John, you know what I'm saying? And, and the, the prize was they would do a little video on you and they'll play you on cable in there. So, man, it, 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 that was a big deal, you know what I'm saying, um, at that time. Uh, I'm just telling you some stuff that happened pre the Memphis rap scene. But it was Memphis rappers going. It was Memphis rap going on at the time. Mm. I remember uh, DJ Squeaky told me this. He said, "Man, I remember me and Eight Ball came to the Lamar Terrace Projects, and y'all was having a contest, uh, a battle, in the in the basement area of the uh, the office. Mm. And, and he right. He said, "Dude, he said you had 
uh, uh, this component set turntable, and you had this other awkward, uh, 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 awkward looking turntable, and you had these, <laughs> you had all these wires and stuff. He said you had it hooked up though, but he said I battled a ball then, and I, I don't, I didn't know at that time. I didn't know that was a ball. We were just rappers. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He reminded me that he was like, man, we he, it was him and Abel. You like, man, we battled you at the Monterey. We came from Orange Mound to battle. You no, know, we just heard it was a rap battle going on in the Monterey, so we came down to get it. Right. But I, I was like, that's that's, that's amazing. That's I wish crazy. There was some footage of that. Uh, Al Capone and Abel with DJ Squeaky battling each other. God, you know, pre rap, pre Memphis rap. So again, I'm I'm just giving you a picture of how. Uh, hip hop was going on in Memphis. It just wasn't a Memphis rap scene at the time. Uh, I think the Memphis rap scene started to develop uh, right around the time when I was listening to uh, like Raider J and Spanish Fly Woo! broadcasting Saturday night. live, live from the No Name. Yes, hey, don't leave me hanging. Don't Expo. leave me hanging. Expo. I'm sorry. I I, I, I I got lost in as if I was listening to the radio just then, man. Hey. Ugly ladies, the parking the lot. The parking lot. You know what I'm saying? Got to shout out Raider J and of course Spanish Fly. Hello, tonight <laughs> the itty weeny teeny weeny bikini, bikini contest. contest. <laughs> and they really had one. They really, really had that type of contest. And it was any weeny teeny weeny bikini. Yes. It was. Golly. It was thongs before the thongs. Yes. Okay. 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 Cause I used to sneak and go to the No Name when I was, I can, I can tell this now, when I was in junior high, when I, I mean, when I was in high school, yeah. uh, we would get some gangster nights and had, you know, going there and whatever like that. And yeah. Studio G, yeah. all that good stuff. Like you brought back some memories cause they were live on the radio yep. doing a broadcast. Mm -hmm. Now, now they was they were they were on. I forgot what I, I want to say. They was on one on one, maybe. I think they were on one on one. But Sonny D was doing a mix show on. I think on ninety seven. Sonny D. I don't D know House if it was Express. the same night, but I used to tune into his show as Saturday well. Saturday night, you was going you was going back and forth. Yeah, it was called Sonny D's House Express. Yeah, Sonny D was one of the most innovative DJs from back in the day. Matter of fact, while we're speaking about him. He was the first DJ to actually have a mix show on the radio in Memphis. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. that was like unheard of here. Mm -hmm. You just heard music all night. Yeah. Wow, yeah. you bringing back memories. Yeah, yeah. So once I started paying attention to that, I think something started to happen. Cause my cousins, which were older than me, and they were they were like the gangsters uh, of the family. You know what I'm saying? And and uh no name slash expo was the gangster hood club. But I remember <clears throat> my cousin used to come back from the club at night. You know, we we hanging out in the projects, and our cousins would come back. And they'll be playing like uh, I got it made by Special Ed or something, and they'll be doing this, doing gangsta that look. Walking. They gangsta walking, you know what I'm saying? And but, you could buy mixtapes in the club. And they exactly so they, they would make the tapes there actually while they were you, while we were partying. There you go. So they come back playing these tapes, doing this gangsta walk. We looking at we looking up to them because they the gangsters, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they the they the they the guys. So we looking at them, seeing them do this dance. So to us, they the they cooler than ever, ever. So you know, at some point, you know, we started getting into doing the gangster walk. I think the gangster walk is what set the precedent for the foundation for the Memphis rap scene. It did, and it was because at that point, it did, and it was yeah because the. Key records at that time, since we're gonna go there, mm -hmm. of course we got Trigger Man. Trigger Man. Uh, of course we got. Let me, Alan, wait, before you say that, go ahead. Trigger Man, when the Trigger Man started taking off with the Gangster Walk, mm -hmm. I was on Trigger Man like three years prior. Mr. Magic. I bought the Mr. Now I'm gonna tell you why I bought the Mr. Magic Rap, Rap Attack album. Mm -hmm. Because I was looking for Run DMC to together forever. And I couldn't find it on nothing. Because it was never on an album. Exactly. A, and I'm like, this is one of the hardest songs. Together, forever, Woo. forever. Together, run, doom, 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 boom. Yeah. By the 808s. Oh my God. Killing. Man, I'm like, where is this record? Woo. Because you couldn't find it anymore. Man, and Mo, I went home and. Got, went straight to that record. Ooh, it's together. Oh, I got it. I got it. You no played it until it turned gray, didn't you? I got it. 
<laughs> but then at some point, I'm like, let me listen to the other records. And right, other songs on here. Right. And I heard Trigger Man for the first time. Drag I was like, wow, rap. this yep. is drag rap. I was like, wow, this is, uh, uh, they telling a whole movie in this song. I, I felt like it was unique. And it had those 808s, too. It had the big beat, and then it switched to the 808. So I was super familiar with it. Years before it became this gangster walking staple in Memphis. You know what I'm saying? They, that that record was a that uh, drag rap was a, a big record for the show boys. So. They're very influential, and it was, was so crazy that we're talking about this and how Memphis developed its sound. Yep. People don't understand that a lot of the gangster walk records we would listen to came from New York. Show boys from New York. Yep. Uh, Funk master Wizard Wiz, Bellevue Patient. Yep. New York, uh, Tell City Records, uh, LL Cool J. Uh, not, I'm bad. Yep. Uh, Jack the Ripper, Payton Fuller, Eric B and Rakim. Man, I, get, uh, I got a made special ed. You know what I'm saying? New York rappers. But 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 not only New York. Then you had uh, I ain't tripping by too short. No, yeah. no, no. Before then, it was everlasting bass. So the West Rodney Coast. Rodney O and Joe Cooley. Don't nobody disses me. Yeah. DJs and MCs. Yes. Those records were the gangster walking records. All those songs you name it. Those were the songs that they, our guys that we looked up to, Gangsta Walk. Off and, of. and we did. And, we did. And as, but us as rappers, we're looking at this and saying, you know what I'm saying? We want to we wanna make some songs. Cause we, we were making all styles of songs. It was not no one style of song at the, at the time. We were making all styles of songs. But we knew we wanted to make a song to make people Gangsta Walk too. So that is how the Memphis rap sound start to evolve into his own it thing. Did. We wanted to make songs to make people gangster walk.